Welcome to our video on fibroids, a common health condition that affects millions of women worldwide. While fibroids are generally considered non-cancerous, some sizes may be more concerning than others. In this video, we will discuss everything you need to know about fibroids and which sizes may be considered dangerous. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop in or on the uterus. They are most common in women between the ages of 30 and 50 and can range in size from as small as a pea to as large as a grapefruit. In fact, some women may have fibroids without even knowing it, as they often cause no symptoms. However, not all fibroids are created equal, and some sizes may be more concerning than others. Generally speaking, the larger the fibroid, the more likely it is to cause symptoms and require treatment. But what size is considered dangerous? Well, it depends on a few factors. For instance, a small fibroid may be considered dangerous if it is causing severe symptoms such as heavy bleeding, pelvic pain, or pressure on other organs. Conversely, a large fibroid may be considered less dangerous if it is not causing any symptoms and is not growing rapidly. So, what are the different sizes of fibroids? Fibroids can be classified into three main categories based on their size. 1. Small fibroids. These are fibroids that are less than 5 cm in diameter, which is about the size of a small lime.2, medium fibroids. These are fibroids that are between 5 and 10 cm in diameter, which is about the size of a grapefruit. 3. Large fibroids. These are fibroids that are larger than 10 cm in diameter which is about the size of a cantaloupe. While the size of the fibroid is one of the main factors in determining its potential risk, other factors, such as location and growth rate, may also be taken into account. For instance, a small fibroid located near the cervix may cause more symptoms than a larger fibroid located farther away from the cervix. So, what size of fibroid is considered dangerous? It depends on a variety of factors, including the location of the fibroid, its growth rate, and whether or not it is causing symptoms. If you suspect you may have fibroids, it's important to speak with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of action. Before leaving, do not forget to check out our natural fibroid and ovarian cyst natural cure in the description below. Thank you for watching our video on understanding fibroids. If you found this information helpful, Please like and share this video with others who may benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on women's health.